Okay, you guys, so I wanted to show you one of my funniest videos, how to get your man to give you money. I have so many funny comments from guys on this that are so mad. Why are they mad? Because it works, okay? Um, <laughs> every week or every couple of days, I will get a man who finds this video and comments that I'm disgusting and I'm a manipulator and I'm this and I'm that. Why? Because obviously those tricks work, okay? Now, if you haven't seen this video, go watch it. It's on my Shira Seva channel, How to Get Your Man to Give You Money. It's on this channel, and I'm probably going to link it. But the way that I use to get men to give you money is very manipulative, and it works, okay? The, the title is not How to Morally Get Your Man to Give You Money. It's just How to Get Your Man to Give You Money, point blank. Now, a man asked me, how do I get a woman to give me money? <laughs> so, I'm going to answer that. Okay, so guys, if you're like a broke dude, one of those couch dwellers, and you're trying to get a woman to give you money, uh, first of all, you have to look better than her. <laughs> and you have to be her weakness. All you got to do is ask. I mean, most of the women that come to me have this, this problem. You know, they have a, a man who doesn't work. Who they support and usually the man looks way better than the woman has many options but chooses to lay on her couch and in exchange for that she gives him money so yes that is how you get money from a woman just look better than her and have many options okay oh make sure she have low self-esteem as well okay so moving on let's read some of these comments this lady is effing disgusting I would not give her one even if her pee was I can't even look I don't even that didn't even make sense I'm sorry but y'all can read it he does I, I don't know if English is his first language because he used like too many curse words in one sentence that didn't make sense okay um someone's asking me if they can ask for advice but yes go watch this video and you will be laughing as well because y'all know I like you know keep things humorous but uh, someone says, look, uh, women are leeches in general, emotionally, financially, mentally, or physically. I'm glad men are wicked. Well, yes, women are leeches. You know, we're supposed to have to depend on uh, someone to do things for us. Why? Because we can't do anything for ourselves, right? Yeah. Well, if you think about it, men are the real leeches because they're actually in our wombs for nine months leeching off of our life force so if you know if we feel like we need protection and you know a man to provide for us if that's being a leech well physically you are the leech first and got here from you know leeching off another life form so you really can't point the finger or judge women um, men were built stronger and bigger for a reason to go out work and provide for his family so if you you know if you can't deal with the facts then you know maybe you can do a Bruce Jenner and get your get your gender changed you know anyway so I'm just making this quick video because as you know I'm moving this weekend uh, not this weekend next weekend and I'm packing and my room is in shambles because I'm taking everything down and apart so I just thought I'd do like a little quick pop-in video for you guys and um oh this is another good video right here let me click on it people hate this one too y'all it's Thank called profit okay. off Thank the us. power of the p this was the best okay English. um this will tell you how powerful you are oh look i look like a vampire on this one for real <gasps> yes my leech qualities and my vampire qualities are coming through um let me pause this eh, okay oh look they both beyonce um, yes, the profit off the power of the P. Um, this is how most women who are smart, um, you know, build themselves up and not wear themselves out. They use what they have to get what they want because most women do it for free without anything in exchange. No house, no cars, no relationship, no ring, no nothing. So if you're going to, if you're going to date and have sex with random people or date and have sex with someone, make sure you're getting more in return than you are giving. Why? 
because if you don't you're going to be left used up and that is not how you win you win by leaving with more than you came into the relationship with okay ladies watch this video too this is a good one recommend it okay men hate this one too because they know it's true okay y'all i get okay this one is how to find and date a rich man i get comments on this every day actually this one i get every day why because people are mad because women are not trying to find the mediocre man anymore they want something spectacular someone they can brag on you know what i mean Thank so um and basically a lot of people are mad and calling me a gold digger blah, blah blah they're saying oh well you don't look that good how can you get this man with money da, da, da. i can look good if i want to you know what y'all see on the video is not my best <laughs> um well, i thought i skipped this ad skip ad yeah i'm looking crazy right here but that doesn't mean that's how i look when i go out shoot um i had just got done swimming um i threw on the quickest makeup job i could do just so i can get a video to y'all and then y'all some people judge me on <laughs> the way i looked when i made this video it's not about how i look it's about the content of the video come on now. <laughs> you think if i was really going out to find someone with money i would look like this okay no um <laughs> but yes this is funny um and I have seen women that look worse than me marry men richer than me. So, what the heck, you know? It's not about looks. It's about men mentality, okay? It's about game. It's about supply and demand. That's what it's about. It's about preference. It's about taste. It's about uh, chemistry and what you have in common. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this one used to get a lot of... This one used to get a lot of slack back in the day. How to tell a fake baller from a real financially abundant man. Okay, y'all go watch this one if y'all are newly to dating. If y'all are trying to date men of means, go watch this video to make sure you're not dating a fake baller. Because there are lots of them out there who pretend, okay? <laughs> they have bad credit, nice clothes, nice shoes, nice car. But you walk into their apartment and they have nothing but a card table and folding chairs and a mattress on the floor, okay? Those are the fake ballers, okay? Um, so get it together. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm just making this video because I know I have a lot of new viewers. And I'm, I'm trying to point out the videos that I like. The one that gets the most attention from men. The most anger. So that you know which ones are the truth, okay? Um, oh, this is a good one for women that are too nice, okay? Um, ooh, my favorite perfume. Tom Ford. Love you, Tom Ford. Okay, so this one is called Nice Women Finish Last. Okay? Nice Women Finish Last. If you're too nice, men will walk over you. They will treat you like trash. They will exploit you. They will cheat on you. They will do all the time. Types of things. Now, this is not saying be a control freak or too possessive. This means when they mess up, you don't treat them like they didn't do anything wrong you actually go out and do something even worse or you ignore it and or ignore them altogether and replace them you don't you don't keep asking why 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 do you do this to me you go and make them ask those same questions about you you know why are you doing this to me oh no reason i thought we were just you know cool you know, if you can do that to me, I thought it was okay for me to do to you. My bad. Uh, so, yeah, being too nice will backfire on you every time. It's not being a good woman, good wife, good whatever material. It's being good doormat material, okay? You ever heard of the terms? You ever heard of the, um, there's a book and there's um, a term or a meme or something like that that says um, men love bitches and that is so true, okay? Um, you don't know how many people inbox me daily <laughs> you know oh i love your channel i know I, and they're men they love my channel men more men love my channel because i'm honest and they're like 
it's refreshing to see how honest you are. Uh, I know women are naturally materialistic. They seek comfort and blah, 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 blah. But they don't talk about it a lot because society has made women shamed of their natural feelings. So I'm here to say, yes, women do seek comfort and lifestyle. The man who can provide the most comfortable environment usually has the best woman, okay, um, as far as their standards are concerned. The man who can provide the least lifestyle in the poorest environment will have the least desirable woman. That's just it, okay? And by desirable, I don't mean looks. I mean, she, you know, she's not very desirable of herself. She has low self-esteem. She settles for less, okay? So nice women, they finish last. You gotta, you gotta tell it like it is and be honest up front. Men respect that, no matter how much, you know, they say they don't, they will, believe me. Because now they have a choice. Do I wanna be with this gold digger or do I wanna keep looking for a fake person who's gonna surprise me later on in life? <laughs> what's, what's worse, you know? It's better to be a gold digger up front than to surprise them later on okay um let's see another good one let me show you guys <sighs> oh oh a lot of people want oh this is a good one listen to men's insults they hold knowledge okay so this one is about if a man is going to troll you or insult you in any sort of way, listen to what they choose to insult first. They f they feel like they're going to insult your weakness, but really it's something that they admire about you and how strong you are and able to um, be confident in yourself. So, for example, a lot of people, a lot of the guys on here, the MGTOW guys, will attack me saying that I'm fat. Well, I don't look in the mirror every day and see bones sticking out so I'm obviously aware that I'm not skinny okay but that has never stopped me from getting anything that I wanted in my life in fact it's actually helped me why because I don't use it as an excuse you know I use it as okay so and you know it's just it's just part of you know my body who I am you know some men like it a lot of men like it actually okay um so for example like yeah, see, this is one. This is one of my wedding pictures. I I was not skinny when I got married. Okay, <laughs> so y'all act like being skinny is like the fountain of uh, youth and the, the holy grail. It's not. Believe me, I most of my friends are not thin, and they're all married to men with money. Okay, my sister is not a thin woman. Her house is beautiful and gorgeous. Okay, <laughs> um. So I don't understand why people like why guys think that women have to be skinny to get a rich man. That's just not true. I know about shoot. I have men in my look. I can show y'all. I got men in my inbox right now that have money, trying to you know, <laughs> trying to holler. I'm like, okay, I'm already married, but thank you. You can donate to the channel and whatnot. But you know, I'm serious. Um, I have crazy people asking me to take pictures of my foot. And that they would send me a hundred dollars okay this is not a game okay ladies if you feel like you are uh, not able to get a man that's all in your mind and these men will try to deter you just so you can date them and be in a relationship with the loser you know um, a lot of people say I'm a narcissist speaking of narcissists they're both calling you with a lot of people say I'm a narcissist but the good thing about narcissists it's that they, they feel like they're entitled and they know where they're supposed to be in this world and they don't settle for less. And that's a good thing. Um, so, I think, you know, sometimes being a narcissist will help you. You know, that means you're more into yourself. You don't value anyone else's opinion but your own. You know who you are, you know what you're worth, and you don't let anyone determine your value. And yes, it is all about you. Um, so, 
if you have a problem with society and them telling you, oh, you're a narcissist, you're this, it's a compliment, you know? Some people try to make it sound bad, but really, if you read what it is, it's actually a compliment, you know? I'm trying to look up this website. Successful people in the world are narcissists, if you think about it. The most successful women in the world are narcissists. The most, the women who are married to the richest men in the world, some of them, or the most powerful men, are narcissists. Okay, so why do you, um, why do you think that is? Because they have high value on themselves, and anything that has high value is sought after, and supply and demand. You know. Okay, so here, having excess or erotic interest in oneself and one's physical appearance, okay? Uh, the narcissist actress, egotistical, self-obsessed, conceited, and self-centered. Now, loving and self-admiring. Okay, so anyone who is this will never run into a man who's going to mistreat them. Will never run into a broke man. Why? Because they can't mentally cope or deal with one why because they love themselves too much there it is there's a article about donald trump <laughs> and they say he's a narcissist and now he's the president you know um narcissist leaders most leaders are narcissists okay if you're a narcissist man for example if you're a narcissist man you're probably going to end up with a woman who you can mistreat and who will worship you if you're a narcissist woman you will probably most likely end up with a man who will also worship you and will do whatever you want okay there are lots of men who find it a turn on to actually worship women okay they're they're out there and many of them you know you just have to bring it out of them okay and how to bring it out of them is to worship yourself and men will follow what you do. They will mirror you. If you worship yourself, ladies, the man that's in your life will start to do the same. They will put you on that pedestal if you're up there already. They have no choice but to look up, okay? Um, so, you yeah, know, this is my um, psychological dysfunction. I love myself too much. <laughs> I'm obsessed with myself too much, obviously. I'm self-centered. I'm egotistical. And just by doing that and being who I am, I have someone that can mirror that for me. Now, if you're a sociopathic narcissist, that's the difference. This means you will do emotional harm to get people to worship you. Okay, I don't do this. I just I just admit this. Look, I'm a narcissist. You gotta take it or leave it. A lot of people will be impressed that you can self-diagnose yourself <laughs> and use it to your advantage. Okay, ladies, I'm trying to tell you. So when guys sit there and say, Oh, you're a narcissist, you're egotistical, you're shallow, those are all compliments, okay? Because that simply means you are aware of yourself and your own worth. And you don't value other people's opinion of you because your mind is already made up and set about who you are and what you want. And this scares the boys away, okay? This scares the boys away. The men will be attracted to this, okay? Um, and as far as, like, if you have a narcissistic partner and they're very self-absorbed, the best way to deal with them is to be the exact same way to also be a narcissist. You know why? Because two narcissists together, they can all, <laughs> they will, they will sit there and look in the mirror at themselves and say, I look good, don't I, to the other one. And the other one won't even say they look good. They'll say, I look good too, don't I? I look better. It's going to be funny. Okay. So if you're a narcissist, go get with another narcissist if you want an equal and balanced relationship. Um, and that narcissist will love your narcissism and they will be like, oh my God. I found my soulmate because they understand me okay I'm just giving y'all some clues and tips because someone asked me to make a video about a narcissist 
And what if you're in a relationship with a narcissist? Well, become one. The best way to defeat your enemy is to become them, okay? Become an, a narcissist, okay? And they will show you the way, okay? Um, now, psychopathic narcissists, narcissists and sociopathic narcissists are dangerous, okay? They take it to a new extreme of violence and crime. You just want a regular, plain old narcissist, okay? Um, or you want to be one yourself, okay? The more, you, it's, it's just like building a business. The more you uh, promote your brand and have people talk about your brand and put your brand's picture up on, you know, uh, social media, the more people are going to click on it and show interest in it. And the higher they will pay for your product if they see you advertised all the time. And if they hear good things about you and if you say good things about yourself or your company, they're going to buy from you versus someone that puts out one ad on Craigslist talking about come buy my shea butter, you know, versus shea moisture, the best ingredients ever, you know, uh, who, well, who are you going to purchase from? Do you know what I mean? So ladies, you want a rich man? Become a narcissist. Men, if you're a narcissist, get you a narcissist woman. There would be no stopping you guys, okay? All right, I will see y'all later. Bye.